I still have a lot of work that needs to be done. We wanted to make this movie accessible to fans that have never seen a Saw movie. And, and it's a lot uh, its a lot harder to come up with these ideas than you would think because it's not like it's just a story of a killer who tortures people. We needed to really spend time with John Kramer as John Kramer before he became Jigsaw. How much time do I have? Months. It all has to fit into the story. There has to be some way that a person could survive each one of these traps. What's your favorite trap from the entire franchise? I mean, we're almost 20 years into this franchise at this point, and yeah. so I'm curious, do you guys go around like John Kramer where you're just envisioning like, ah, oh, that bad person and like thinking of a trap for him? Mm, yes and no. I mean, for <laughs> us, for this film, because you mentioned something beginning about the accessibility, we really, with new generation of fans, we really wanted to make this where people hadn't seen a Saw movie previous. Mm -hmm. So we want to tell, you know, when you open up the way the movie opens, and he's taking a journey for the first 25 minutes that anyone would take. And so that's the way, hopefully, we made it accessible to yeah. people. We wanted to make this movie accessible to fans that have never seen the Saw movie. So we needed to really spend time with John Kramer as John Kramer before he became Jigsaw mm -hmm. to understand why he would want to become this person. Yeah. Hello, everyone. It's time to play a game. And I, I think it, it, it's, you don't have to see any other Saw movie. To love this movie. Yeah, I completely and, agree. You know, it kind of stands on its own, and we knew we wanted John in the movie or Tobin Bell in the movie way more than he has been in the past. <laughs> so we had to go back to when he was hadn't died yet, and he dies in Saw Three. Yeah. So we kind of set this between Saw One and Two, and we kind of we don't talk about the future until a movie opens. So we'll meet the Monday after yeah. opening weekend, and should this movie work. We kind of left it open-ended to where we can continue. Well, that is fantastic to hear because that's what I was hoping for. Yeah. <laughs> and so can you guys also talk about the uh, just returning, having uh, Shawnee Smith return to the series? Because, I mean, How great is that? such a fan favorite yes. and practically steals the movie, which is crazy because yeah. Tobin Bell yeah. is amazing. People, yeah. um, we were down at summer, uh, Midsummer Scream and we showed the trailer, and then when she took the mask off, it, people screamed like it was an overtime goal or a touchdown or something. People went bananas when Shawnee came back on. So it made us, it, it kind of validated our idea or that she was integral and that she's a huge fan favorite. The story's compelling and the Saw fans, next level. Every moment she's on screen, you're just like captivated by her and she yeah. is just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And I also was real curious, this is the funniest Saw movie, which I was not expecting. Mm -hmm. So can you talk about just the adding humor to this mm -hmm. series? Because it also works really well. Try, it's not... to, try sometimes not to take it too seriously. Yeah. You know, it's... You need, you need a little comic relief to... Because it's, it's, this is... Make him, make these traps laughter. are tough. <laughs> yeah. These traps are, are no joke. We kind of push the envelope yes. Yes. On, on the traps. You know, from the very beginning with the janitor, you know, and the eye trap, to right to the blood boarding. Yeah. You know, you've heard of waterboarding? When we <laughs> took waterboarding, torture to the next level. Well, and I don't want to get into any spoilers in the traps, so. but um, so let's just say, because you guys have been around since the beginning, what's your favorite trap from the entire franchise? I think maybe the, the, my favorite is the last one in this movie. <laughs> that we're not going to give away just yeah. yet, but I, you've seen the movie. Yes. It's pretty great, isn't it? Yes, it is very, very good. One of my favorites is also from this movie, which yeah. I won't say what it is. Mine is uh, where Shawnee Smith pops off the, uh, the opening of Saw 1, where she pops off the head trap, because I'm the guy that she takes the key out of the stomach. Yes, you are. So oh. I got, it's got to be my favorite. <laughs> Thought I recognized you. <laughs> I'd like to play a game. Tyler Nichols, JoeBlow.com. And first of all, thank you so much for joining me today. This has been just, this has been such a cool experience. And okay. I'm actually an editor myself. So oh, awesome. um, the one thing in particular that I have always wondered is you're not credited in your, the other Saw movies that you directed. Well, when I, uh, when I got the gig to direct Saw 6, uh, I brought my assistant editor from Saw 5 on as the, as the credited editor, Andrew mm -hmm. Coots. And, um, you know, I did a lot of editing on yeah. the film, but, you know, he, he worked so hard 
like so hard that I was happy to um, give him that credit. And guess what? He's uh, he went on to edit all sorts of other things, and now he's about to start directing Star Trek. Uh, you know, so that's it awesome. can happen to anyone. That is yeah, so so cool. That's great. So can you talk about the uh, the process in terms of with the the trap design? How much collaboration do you have with both Kevin and like producers and the writers? Right. So we always start with the pages, you know, and the writers, and then we have conversations with Kevin, and then we have meetings and concept drawings, and we sort of say, this is what we like. We'd like to make this more realistic. We'd like to amplify this, and then we start testing the traps because. We have prosthetics, stunts, mm -hmm. uh, mechanical effects. We have a, about eight different departments involved when we're shooting the traps. So we have to do a lot of testing and also it's a safety issue. So at the end of the day, with all the testing, that way we're ready for us to start shooting on the day of the shoot. So. Yeah, it's a lot of work, and and it's a lot uh, it's a lot harder to come up with these ideas than you would think because it's not like it's just a story of a killer who tortures people. It all has to fit into the story. There has to be some way that a person can survive each one of these traps, and uh, it should feel sort of metaphorically tied to the the character and their sins or flaws. Yeah. And uh, uh, you would you would be surprised how much brainstorming it really takes to put one of these together. But trust me, you will want. To remain alert. I think you saw the film, so uh, you know there's the the mix of all the medical equipment that we needed to intertwine that because that. it's thematic, <laughs> you know, and each of the characters again, like Kevin was saying. So there's a lot of thought put into it. And and we always want to outdo ourselves both within the film as the story progresses, but also in terms of, of the franchise as a whole. But then also not. Um, not get too big. I think in some of the saws are, uh, you know, we're like, what if we put a motorcycle on top of it? You know, and there's all kinds of crazy, and it's cool to yeah. look at, but then you think of, um, of, you know, one or two people putting this together, and yeah. it's a little bit silly. So we tried to scale back while still being very intense. Well, so logistically, because uh, the last the last saw you did was 3D, so like. <laughs> Was this one just so much easier going into it where you weren't having to deal with 3D cameras? I'm, I'm and... certainly glad that this one was not shot in 3D because <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's a whole ball of wax. But yeah. um, it, it was still complex. But, you know, with, with modern digital cameras, it, it, this, the filmmaking process is, uh, is more streamlined. And yeah. You can focus on other things. Was there anything that, from like a technical technical side, or just even the MPAA, that where you had to cut something back, cut or trim it down? Well, uh, you know, fortunately, we had a good dialogue already in place with the MPA because we, you know, they know yeah. us. <laughs> they know and dread uh, when they know a saw movie is coming down the pipe. But um, but they were uh, they were good. They were good, and uh, I don't feel like we, um, you know. Had to hurt the film in terms of what you know a lot of the fans want out of Saw. Yes. 